This is Coombe Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the London press conference for Usyk Joshua, August 20th, uh, in Saudi Arabia. I'm joined by Mr. Angel Fernandez. How are you, Kieran? Very well, thank you. Mr. Robert Garcia. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. So, who's the boss? <laughs> <laughs> it's not always the same question. We are the boss. Okay. Um, but if in fight night it's him or me, it doesn't matter. You know, we, we're here to win. You know, we're a team, and uh, that's all it matters at the end of the day is, is, is that win. Robert, is Angel right? It doesn't matter as long as you get the job done. It doesn't matter who's the head and all this kind of stuff. You know what? There's no such a thing in this training camp. You know, we're both working together, and like he says, it doesn't matter who's the one inside the ring or outside. You know, we're both going to be in the same. The same plan, same instructions, and uh, you know, if I talk or he talks, it's going to be pretty much basically the same thing because we're we're both working very very well together and uh, and both working on the same plan. Before um, Robert came on board, Angel, um, I heard that it was a recommendation of yours to to bring someone, whether it was Robert at that time or you know whoever with the experience to kind of add to the team. Is that is that correct? Yeah, he's correct. You know, I mean. Uh, I've been in talks with Robert since I seen him in uh, in America. You know, the message already was like going forwards and backwards. And uh, since that week that he came into London, you know, on that week we had a good time just to kind of like stay together. You know, having breakfast, lunch, dinner. You know, took the plans ahead, and he was the one. He was the one to 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 be here with us. And Robert, your initial um, meeting about kind of coming on to. Team Joshua, um, what was that like, the initial time that you two guys spoke? I mean, it was a few months ago now, uh, last year, but how was that, first of all? See, well, that was, that was the thing that, you know, once we exchanged numbers and we started talking about, you know, what we think is, is the right move to, to, uh, to prepare Anthony to win the fight, you know, we were both on the same page, you know, and, and you know, he's young, he's hungry to become a great trainer, and this is what, you know, what he needs, you know. Uh, me with more experience, but he already, you know, he has a lot of knowledge also. So it's just a matter of him getting those opportunities to become a great trainer too. So, you know, with my experience in the team, I think it's just gonna be a big plus for, for Anthony. Did you watch the fight live? Not there, but did you watch it as it was unfolding uh, back in September last year? Yes, I did. And, uh, you know, before the fight, you know, I, I really didn't uh, didn't think uh, Usyk had a chance. You know, just Anthony being the the bigger, the stronger, the heavier guy. You know, with all the advantages, I I, I thought Anthony was going to win. But then, you know, when when uh, Usyk won, I was happy for him. You know, I know him, I know his manager, and uh, and you know, I was happy for him. You know, he had a great performance. He's very 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 technical fighter. Very uh, he's got tricks all over. You know, so he did the right thing and won the fight. So I was happy for him. Angel, uh, obviously in the aftermath of uh, Joshua's loss to Alexander Usyk, every boxing expert had their opinion, oh, you know, what he should have done, what he shouldn't have done, etc., etc. And it's very easy for all of us, because I'm sure we've all kind of had our, what we perceived to be the problem or what he should have done, but everyone's kind of voiced their opinion about that. But he's explained that in time of why he approached that fight in a certain way. But I think he can look back and kind of understand that it probably or maybe wasn't the best way uh, to have approached that fight. Yeah, no, 100%, you know, it was definitely not the best, you know, way to, to, to fight Usyk on the, on the previous time, but this time he knows what he needs to do. We know what he needs to do and we're working towards to, to, to do the best as we can, you know, and just get a win on the, uh, August the 20th. People are expecting that kind of more aggressive come forward, Anthony Joshua, that lets his hands go and uses all his attributes. But are we naive into thinking that that's too much of an obvious game plan from you guys? I know you guys are not going to tell us everything, but are we too naive just to thinking that that's the only way he can win? There is so many ways uh, we can win this fight. Um, this is done to me and, uh, and this man, how we prepare Anthony, how we put him in the situations that we think he could be on the fight and he will be ready for everything. You know, if the fight gets on the inside, we will be good on the inside. If the fight gets on the outside, and we will win that, that way. You know, it's just like Anthony to kind of like go through these challenges in, in training and um, give the best as he can, which we know he can win this fight. Robert, could you answer that same question? You know what, I think, uh, you know, 
doesn't necessarily have to be a fight where he has to fight on the inside or has to back him up. I think Anthony has a long jab, great straight jab with a one-two. So we could we could also win the fight like that, you know, if he does it the right way. But uh, you know, we, we're gonna we're gonna have him prepare for for a few different styles, a few different things. But inside the ring, you know, obviously the fighter has to has to do it. You know, has to go and follow instructions. And if he does things right, I have no doubt that he that he's gonna become a third-time champion of the world. The perception is that Joshua can't outbox Alexander Usyk, can't outpoint him, can't win the decision. But is that, I mean, it's, it's people's opinion, that's fair enough. But I'm, I'm assuming that you guys are going to kind of possibly implement a bit of both of those kind of styles going into this fight. Yeah, it's just like, as I said previously, he's just game through different scenarios, see how he's responding to them. And uh, based on that, then the fight might change round by round. We, we might have to change things on the second round. We might have to change things on the third round. That's, that's, that's how we have to be, you know, taking the approach towards, uh, to this fight. Exactly right. You know, we can't, we can't be planning on just one way because one round could change everything and we got to change the game plan and do, do the opposite, you know. So we're going to be ready for whatever it takes, but, you know, we're definitely, you know, uh, going to be in there to win the fight. And it uh, doesn't matter how it is, we're going to try to end up with, with winning the fight. Uh, Robert, question for you. Has your relationship over the months formed kind of on a personal level with Anthony Joshua? Obviously, you guys are doing your stuff ahead of April, uh, August 20th, excuse me. But uh, from a personal point of view, how has that relationship uh, coming on? I think it's been good. You know, we, you know he, he, he listens, he follows instructions. You know, we've sat together, me and him, to watch his powering matches and, you know, see little different things, mistakes and, and things that he does right, that he does wrong. And he writes his notes, and, you know, he's writing notes. So he's, you know, he's, he's there to, to learn and to, and to get better. So, so you know, let, let, let's just try to see that in the next eight weeks, we continue doing the same, the same thing and come up with a win. A little bit tongue in cheek, but Tyson Fury has offered over the last few months to, to train Anthony Joshua. He says he's the man that can uh, uh, train Anthony Joshua to beat Alexander Usyk. We are taking that as a little bit of a tongue in cheek comment from Tyson Fury. He'll probably say he's, you know, he's being serious, but uh, just a reaction to that, Angel. Obviously, I mean, reaction to that, if, in all honesty, I just heard this from first time. I'm not a person that kind of like watch interviews or read the internet of what people say, what people don't say. All we, be, all we need to do is just focus on what we need to do and get a win on the 20th uh, by anyhow. Robert, just a word on those well, comments, sir. Well, no, Fury, Fury's a great, great athlete, you know, but, uh, you know, I don't think he's ever trained anybody before. You know, he's a great, he's a good character, you know, he's, he's funny, he's good to, good to have him around, and, you know, he'll, he'll say, you know, whatever he wants. You know, Mayweather has also said stuff about training other fighters, but I don't, I don't really see Mayweather being a trainer, you know what I mean? It's just, just the way, you know, they, they, uh, they see things and think they might be able to do it, but it, it's hard work to be a trainer, man. It's, it's, it takes a lot of dedication. It's not easy, especially those type of fighters that have already accomplished so much. I don't think they'll spend a training camp uh, with, with a fighter, you know, because it's, it's difficult. It's not easy. Um, and for yourself, Robert, do you see yourself that this is the start of possibly a, you know, a longer term thing? Is it a fight by fight thing at the moment for yourself, seeing how it goes? I would love to, you know, I would love to. Everything goes well in this camp and, uh, and, and we get good results in the fight. I'm sure we're going to continue working. You know, I, this is something that I, I really like. It's something different, you know, leaving my, my, my home, you know, my training camp with, with my fighters to be over here. It's a different experience, but I'm enjoying it. You know, the, the team is great. Everybody around is great. Uh, the champion is good, you know, so I'm, I'm happy to be here and uh, I hope to, uh, we continue doing this. But, you know, we, we got to get the win, you know, obviously that, that's the most important thing. Uh, just a final one on this, um, us as spectators and fans, are we going to be surprised with the way AJ fights uh, come August 20th? I think so, yes. I definitely agree, I think so. Okay. Just a word on, on Mikey, uh, calling time on a fantastic career, uh, yesterday I believe so, uh, the right choice? You know what, yes, I think it's the right choice. Uh, since uh, even before his last fight, we already seen that he wasn't too excited about boxing anymore. He's been doing so many other stuff uh, uh, be, uh, outside of boxing that he's been pretty successful and uh, and he's enjoying it. And you know, he he took his last fight with you know the only reason was because Jesse Rodriguez was going to fight on the undercard and Jesse hadn't fought in a while and he was actually supposed to fight for the world title that night, but the 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 fighter from Mexico couldn't get his visa. So two weeks before the fight, they told us he. He's not fighting for the title, so Mikey just says, you know, so 
let's just continue doing this. You know, I'm already in it. I'm a fighter. He didn't really want to fight. You know, we already knew Mikey was pretty much looking into retirement. Uh, he just announced it a couple of days ago, but we already knew about it. And I think that's the best thing for him because if in this sport, if you don't have the, the the will, the desire to get up in the morning and run, to train hard, to do the hard uh, rounds of sparring, might as well not do it. Might as well retire. Andrew, uh, Robert, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to the press conference today. And then after that, we'll see you uh, in Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much for thank your time, Kevin. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.